Hey everybody, so the topic of today's video is what is the runtime of the upcoming After Film adaptation and is the international going to get a different cut or like or is different territories going to get like different cuts of the movie? Uh, and this is all stemming from the fact that when I go on the Alberta Canada film ratings, it says that the runtime of the movie is 106 minutes, aka about an hour and 46 minutes. But when I was scrolling through Twitter on the hashtag uh, yesterday, or like sometime in the recent areas, uh, somebody who saw the movie or was trying to calm people down said something along the line, because like a lot of people have been complaining about all the clips that have been released and pretty much saying that, you know, well, you pretty much have spoiled the movie and uh, you, you've shown too much. You might as well just go ahead and release the movie now. Uh, you know, what's the point of even releasing at this point? You know, you release too much. And so the person said, you know, trying to calm everybody down, you know, it's still only 10 minutes. Only 10 minutes have been released. And they're still, uh, and the movie is pretty much like one three zero. Now, the big question is, is what does that one three zero mean? Are they saying that the movie is two hours and 10 minutes or are they saying, or did they just forget to put in, you know, an hour and minutes after the one and the three and the zero? I mean, so that becomes the question that what, so is overseas going to get like a two hour and 10 minute cut of the movie while we get, you know, like an over, like a, like a, like a 20 or so minute, like, like shorter cut? Because look, uh, for me personally, me personally, if I made a film and just to get a PG-13, I mean, just to get like, like such a low rating, if I had to cut 20 minutes of material, uh, to me, I would just be like, man, fuck all y'all. I'm going out with an R. Because, man, the 20, minute, 20 minutes is ridiculous. Um, that... I mean, I mean, really, like, like that. That's the question. Like, what did that person mean? Did they mean, you know, an hour and thirty minutes, or did they mean, you know, two hours and ten minutes? Uh, because I mean, I mean, that that is just ridiculous. Um, in terms of of editing, I mean, I mean, that's uh, I mean, if you always wanted a PG thirteen, then why did you put? you know, 20 minutes of sexually explicit material that would almost certainly guarantee you an R. Um, I mean, that, that, that to me just sounds a little bit ridiculous. Um, to, to see like, like that big of a, of a, of a difference, to see like that, 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 that large of a space between the cut that like the U.S. and Canada are going to get and then, like something like some international is gonna get. I mean, like that 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 just seems a little weird to me. That you know, like that 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 almost seems like you over edited this film. That you didn't just cut the sex. I mean, you cut you know pretty much like everything. I mean, you cut like like way more than you probably needed to. And look, like I said in another video talking about R versus PG thirteen, we have had here in the U.S several films come out that have gotten an R for sexually explicit content. So to sit here and say like, oh, in the US people said, oh, there was too much sex. Well, I can put up Fifty Shades. I can put up Basic Instinct. I can put up The Wolf of Frickin' Wall Street, which is one of my favorite films. Um, I can put up like, like those films and kind of point to say, well, we've gotten R's for sexually explicit material before. That it just makes no sense that all of a sudden with this, like all of a sudden people are, have just gotten way too sensitive, like way too, you know, uptight, way too prudish. Because uh, find a uncut, ver not not the cut on TV, which even on the cut on TV, uh, yeah, uh, they, they still show a lot, which is really surprising to me. But yeah, find a cut of The Wolf of Wall Street and just watch the first 10 minutes and you tell me if that feels like an R or if that should be an NC-17. I mean, look at what they got away with in that movie and then look, and then you tell me that somebody who you brought in for the after screening 
said that, oh, this is too much. So yeah, I'm hoping that the person said that, I hope that the person meant that there's still like an hour and 30 minutes left and not two hours and 10 minutes left or not like a two hour and 10 minute movie because that is an extreme cut. Like that is like on a whole other level in terms of the editing. Um, so yeah, it, let me put it like this. If, if you are overseas and you have seen the a cut of the movie, uh, first of all, let us know what it's like. I mean, in terms of, of the of the content, let us know what it's like, and maybe let us know what the what the runtime of the movie is. Like, what? How long is the cut that you saw? Because that looks like it's a little bit too extreme of an edit, and that actually really concerns me. So, jump down to the comment section below. Let me know what you think. As always, thank you so much for watching. Remember to click the like button. Remember to subscribe. I'll see you later after Naders. Take care, y'all.